Well, it's 2024 and that means this year is my GLTC grid life debut. And not only my debut, but my attempt to run as much of the season as I can. Signed up for Gold Pass, um, more events to come, but I need to be able to get it there. And my race car has no windows and I've been hauling it open trailer. And if the weather's perfect, it's okay. It's a concern of security at a hotel. It's a concern of weather. It's a concern of how do I get all my extra gear? An enclosed trailer makes sense. Maybe I can get something just, uh, you know, same size, but just enclosed. And yeah, so I got this. <laughs> it's, um, it's a full enclosed gooseneck trailer. Looks massive, it looks absolutely huge. But a thing to note, because it's a gooseneck, I don't know how you'd typically measure these, but they call it a 28 foot trailer because the very front all the way to the back is 28 feet. But in reality, it's only 18 feet on the usable floor um, in here. So with the axles being all the way back and everything like that, this thing really doesn't have much more of a footprint when connected to the truck as my 18 foot open did. Um, mine was like 20 feet to the tongue all the way to the back. And this thing isn't really any longer if you consider that the pivot point, the attachment point to the truck isn't gonna be the bumper anymore. Now this is in the center of the bed. So. In reality, I'm, what I'm hoping for is this is way easier to manage and uh, maneuver than like an equally interior spaced uh, enclosed trailer bumper pole would be. And then I get to utilize all this space up here. So part of what makes an enclosed trailer great for race weekends is I've got somewhere that I can actually sleep, make it my hotel. Um, realistically in travel, I'm gonna, I can stop at campsites and at the racetrack, all these places have bathrooms and showers and everything like that. So I don't really need that built into my trailer. But if I had somewhere that was air conditioned, heated, and that I could sleep comfortably, then I don't have to pay for a hotel. And when we're talking about 12 to 20 weekends a year um, out wherever, it, it gets really expensive to, to pay for all those hotels. And what's really cool about grid life is a lot of people do camp at the track and it's just a cool environment. Like I wanna be able to hang out late. If I'm renting on the car, I don't wanna to have to think about my commute to the hotel and back. This allows me to keep all my gear with me, stay at the track. And what I'm really excited about here is some of the features that will work really well there. This was originally a search and rescue trailer. So it's set up for that. That's why they have the office in here. That's why they have all the gear storage and everything like that, but also they mounted a TV right here. And now you can set up out here with the awning down and you've got what equates to the ultimate tailgating setup. Um, sure, it's probably ideal for search and rescue, but it's also ideal for me. I put the race up here so we can be watching the live stream while it's going on and pull down the, uh, pull down the awning, set up some tables, set up some chairs. We've got this space, we've got the space inside and, uh, and the office and everything else. So with that, let me take you inside. When we first walk in, this area is where the car is going to be, and it came with this big trailer, uh, this uh, big generator, which is, uh, I think it's not going to work. I, it takes up so much space. They would put this out on the site and power both air conditioners in the trailer, all of its lights, all of its equipment, but also the big floodlights um, that they set up on the scene and everything. So that's way more than I need. Probably going to have to res resell that and uh, find something smaller, but. A TV box doesn't take up much space. Um, it, it's got all the coin flooring that, that I see well outfitted race trailers with, so I'm excited about that. Um, of course, it's got the supported door, big uh, aluminum flat down here. And uh, yeah, I mean, there's nothing much different here than your typical car trailer, except this area is also air conditioned, which is awesome. So this one has a heat strip in it, air conditioned and heat, and I verified that that all works. Um, little vent and lots of lighting in here. They also include some cabinetry up top, which is great because that's otherwise unused space. 
And then the wall is 13 foot six inches all the way to the back. So I think the car will just fit, but I mean, we're talking just fit. So I might have to modify some things. I might have to figure out how to remove the bumper and stow it somewhere when we're transporting. Um, but if I can get my car in here, this is a sweet setup. Uh, my other concern is this door might be hard to get the door open enough to get in and out of there, or at least load stuff with the car in place. So that's something I'm gonna have to work through. But here's where this wall benefits us. Let me take you in here. So into the office area, you can see we have a separate AC unit for here, so we can be more efficient and just heat and cool this smaller area. Um, it is all walled and insulated in here, and and they must have had all these TVs set up and everything for this mobile command set up for search and rescue. And so because of that, they've got one, two, three power receptacles right here on the desk. And uh, there's another one behind me here. There's just charging opportunity galore. My thought is I work remotely, so I can belly up to here, have my laptop out. I can work on the road. I can even mount a monitor permanently here like they did prior. And now I've got my full, like, as I would use at home kind of setup, plus all this room to be charging stuff like my GoPros and any of the things I bring with me, my, my Garmin, uh, Catalyst, like all my track related stuff here. If I got like a helmet cooler or a helmet dryer, I could leave that here and have it good to go. So this is actually really well outfitted for my needs too. More storage cabinetry up here that's otherwise unused. Um, so great use of space. And then, if we step up here, it's an insane spot. I don't know if I'm just like getting completely dark now, but there's so much space up here. There's outlets up here as well. And my thought is I might use half of the space for storage and leave the other space um, kind of just dedicated to my sleep space so I can roll out a sleeping pad and a mattress or, or a mattress and then uh, have like a sleeping bag. I can sleep up here, no problem. And then when I close that door, now I've got a solution where I can heat and cool just my living quarters. And it won't be a complete dungeon. There's a light here and that door swings open. So I might even find that I want to swing that door open and put like a bug net up if the weather's really nice and I can just kind of have a view out there. Um, but while I'm sleeping, it's at my level. Maybe I won't do that, but I've got options. Uh, having this window is nice. It's got a bug net so I can let in fresh air. Um, I do have vents as well. So... Yeah, that's the basis of it. Um, I was thinking down here, I might try to include a, uh, a toolbox, try to get a toolbox that exactly fits that space. Now I've got a work surface to wrench, I've got a place to store my tools, um, but leave this one open for my knees in there so that I can comfortably uh, you know, sit there and work on my laptop or sit there and work or eat or whatever else. I would have those kinds of options. Um, but yeah, I'm super pumped. I got a good deal on this. Um, it was really well maintained, so I don't anticipate having to do any kind of major repairs or anything. I'm gonna check the date codes on the tires, make sure that they don't need to be reset before the new year. I did not come with any spares, so I'm gonna buy, I think, two wheels with fresh tires, so I've got a couple of spares. I just gotta find a good place to mount them. This is a 2012 trailer. It's an older trailer, but it's still got all LED lights everywhere, which is great. I don't have to worry about replacing bulbs all the time. And uh, it's completely slick on this side. There's no kind of signage or anything weird like that, that, you know, it's a search and rescue all over it, which whatever, but it's nice that I don't have to deal with any of that. Um, this thing should be ready to go. Got my spot up here, which is one consideration for um, mounting a spare tire or two, but I'll find something. I'll find some solution there. That's it. This is going to be an interesting year. So I really hope you'll follow along and uh, see how I wrench and get the race car ready and what I can pull off. I've been doing DEs for almost 10 years, HPDEs, so track days. Um, so I'm comfortable driving a car near its limit, but I haven't really done much racing. I've done some. I've done uh, Champ Car and WRL, but this is going to be my first time with a sprint racing format. This is going to be my first time running with Grid Life and uh, I'm so excited. Let, let me be honest, I started thinking like, oh, I'm gonna prove myself. This is gonna be my opportunity to just, just see what I'm made of and everything like that. And while I think the challenges of all the logistics and the actual racing will really push me and, and, and I will test myself, the reality is I can't think of a, a way that I would learn more quicker. 
And that's really my goal. My goal this year is to get out there, get as much seat time, as much racing time, wheel to wheel action in, so I can just learn so much. So yeah, I, if you're coming here saying, man, I hope this guy's gonna get all the gold medals and, and you know all the trophies, first place finishes, I'll just sell you that's not my goal. Um, if that happens, that's awesome. But I, my, my goal I think is a little more realistic and that is, I'm gonna learn as much as I can. I'm gonna show up to as many events as I can. I'm gonna try to build a reliable car. I'm gonna try to drive clean. I'm gonna do my best to just soak up as much as I can. There's so many people in that field that I have so much to learn from. Uh, being right on their bumper, hopefully, is going to be the best lesson. That is, that is my racing college, I think. So I, I'm looking forward to it. No matter what, it's gonna be fun. Um, it's gonna be ruinously expensive, but it is gonna be a great time. I'm gonna document it, I'm gonna share this, so, you know, all the YouTube things, like, subscribe, whatever. If you do that, hopefully more of this stuff will pop up for you and you'll see how the journey goes. Thanks for watching.